righty, here we go. Another one. Um, this is a super amazing medicine uh, uh, plant that we call Gaba'agemish. Um, Gaba'agemish is uh, also known as sweet fern or Comptonia peregrina um, is the Latin name. Uh, but Gaba'age uh, Mish, the reason why we call it Gaba'age Mish is because um, of the way that we use it or, or what it is used for. Um, so Gaba'a um, is like when something is, is, is being stopped. Um, so another name of this plant, a lot of people will call it Japkais medicine. <laughs> so Japkais, that's um, diarrhea. And um, uh, Japkais Mshkikke, that's going to be diarrhea medicine. So I remember asking my grandma about this, uh, and and uh, you know, Gabag and Mish. A lot of people call that Japkais medicine. So you know, what do you think? And and she was like, Oh, I said the same thing to my mom. Um, uh, the reason why we call it Japkais medicine is because that's the way that we use it for, like especially with kids. You get gastro or something like this. Kids always uh, um, get pathogens from dirty hands and things like that, and so. Um, diarrhea was just it's just very common with kids <laughs> and this is the medicine we used to stop it and my grandma said her mom corrected her immediately and said well that's the way that you teach kids is talking about stopping diarrhea so that's the way kids will remember it but really is talking about blood and so you know, in the in developed countries, I think, you know, probably one of the worst things that you could see is blood in your stool, uh, an indication of inflammatory bowel disease that can become autoimmune and conditions like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, and things like that. So, um, though this is what we teach kids, this is the medicine that stops diarrhea, but also it, it, th- what it's really talking about, though, is its ability to stop blood probably one of the worst things you could ever see uh blood in your stool an indication of these incredibly uh egregious diseases so the gabagamish is our uh uh it stops blood it stops diarrhea um and and so that's what that's what we call it it's the plant that stops these things from happening so good way to teach kids uh, but then also a good way for us to remember as we get older. Uh, and just like always, you know, if you wanted to learn more about this, um, inflammatory bowel disease is uh, one of the major risk factors for quitting smoking. It's a consequence to quitting smoking. So if we are interested in quitting smoking, this plant and its its uses need to be considered in your plan to quitting smoking to prevent uh conditions like ulcerative colitis is called the disease of the quitter so this is an important medicine to mitigate that you can get more information on gabag and mesh on our patreon i talk about it a lot uh and i think this is probably one of the most powerful medicines you could have um uh, its ability to help with your intestinal health, your gut health. There's so many diseases that begin in the gut or um, and, and because of the inflammation that comes from your gut. So very important for quitting smoking, very important for our mental health. You know, when we're looking at mental health, uh, uh, like anxiety and depression, sweet fern or gabaage mish is really important to consider because anxiety and depression are inflammatory diseases they're largely generated by and driven by inflammation and a lot of this inflammation is coming from your gut so this is a really important tool that we need to completely understand if we want to be uh happier and healthier in our ability to prevent these diseases from happening uh prevent this chronic systemic source of inflammation Uh, so i talk about this one a lot on many of our patreon episodes uh, so you can get more information on there so sweet fern comptonia peregrina